Sultan Murat II, who reigned over the Ottoman Empire in the 15th century, had a significant and eventful reign. Here is an overview of his reign from a historical perspective. Sultan Murat II ruled the Ottoman Empire in two non-consecutive reigns. His total period of rule can be divided into two distinct periods. First reign, Murat II's first reign began in 1421, when he ascended to the throne after the death of his father, Sultan Mehmed I. He ruled continuously until 1444. Second reign, after a brief abdication and temporary retirement from the throne, Sultan Murat II returned to power in 1446. His second reign lasted until his death in 1451. So in total, Sultan Murat II ruled for about 25 years, combining both his first and second reigns. His reign was marked by significant military campaigns, territorial expansion, and important events in the history of the Ottoman Empire. During Sultan Murat II's early reign, he did indeed face internal challenges, including conflicts with rival factions within the Ottoman Empire. Some of the notable pretenders to power and their fates during his reign are as follows. Mustafa Celebi, one of the most significant challengers to Sultan Murat, the second's rule was his own brother, Mustafa Celebi. Mustafa had been a rival claimant to the throne during a period of succession disputes after the death of their father, Sultan Mehmed I. In 1413, Mustafa was defeated and captured by forces loyal to Murat II. He was subsequently imprisoned in various locations during the early years of Murat's reign. Yakup Celebi. Yakup Celebi was another brother of Sultan Murat who sought to claim the throne. In 1425, he led a rebellion against Murat's rule. However, this rebellion was short-lived as Yakup Celebi was defeated and subsequently executed. Other claimants and rebellions, Murat faced numerous other challenges to his authority from various quarters within the empire. These included powerful noble families and regional governors who sometimes sought to assert their independence or challenge the central authority of the Sultan. Murat often had to suppress these rebellions through military campaigns and diplomatic means. Temporary abdication. In 1444, Sultan Murat temporarily abdicated the throne in favor of his young son, Mehmed II, the future Mehmed the Conqueror. This move was partly due to the strain of ruling and the challenges he faced. However, he returned to power in 1446, when his son encountered difficulties in maintaining control, expansion of the empire. One of the defining features of Murat II's reign was his military campaigns and territorial expansion. He continued his father's policy of expansion and launched successful campaigns to annex regions in Anatolia, the Balkans, and beyond. Notable conquests included the capture of Thessaloniki in 1430 and the annexation of parts of Serbia and Albania. Capture of Thessaloniki, 1430. Thessaloniki, located in modern-day Greece, was a major city in the Balkans during the 15th century. It was a coveted prize for the Ottoman Empire due to its strategic importance and economic wealth. The siege of Thessaloniki began in 1429 and lasted for several months. The city was well fortified and its defenders put up a determined resistance. Sultan Murat personally led the Ottoman forces during this campaign. He was determined to capture the city and his military prowess played a crucial role. After a prolonged siege, Thessaloniki fell to the Ottomans in 1430. This marked a significant triumph for Murat and further expanded Ottoman influence in the Balkans. The conquest of Thessaloniki allowed the Ottomans to gain control of a key port city, which facilitated trade and communication in the region. It also served as a base for further campaigns in the Balkans. Annexation of parts of Serbia and Albania. During Murat II's reign, the Ottoman Empire continued to expand its territories in the Balkans. Parts of Serbia and Albania were among the regions targeted for annexation. These areas were often characterized by a mix of Christian and Muslim populations. The Ottoman campaigns in these regions involved a combination of military force and diplomacy. Some local rulers opted to submit to Ottoman authority peacefully to avoid conflict, while others resisted. 
Key cities and regions in Serbia and Albania gradually came under Ottoman control during this period, contributing to the empire's territorial growth. These conquests established Ottoman rule in the Balkans. Sultan Murat II had several wives and children during his lifetime. Let's take a look at his family life, including his wives and heirs. Furat had multiple wives, which was common among Ottoman sultans. However, there is limited historical information available about his wives' names and details. These marriages were often political alliances aimed at strengthening the empire's connections with various regions and noble families. Mara Brankovic, also known as Mara Hatun, was a Serbian noblewoman who lived in the 15th century. She is best known for her marriage to Sultan Murat of the Ottoman Empire, making her a significant historical figure. Here is some information about Mara Brankovic's Serbian noble heritage. Mara Brankovic was born into the prominent Serbian Brankovic family. Her father, Juraj Brankovic, was a despot, ruler, of the Serbian despotate, a semi-autonomous Serbian state under Ottoman suzerainty. Marriage to Sultan Murat. In 1433, Mara Brankovic was married to Sultan Murat, who was the Sultan of the Ottoman Empire at the time. This marriage was part of a diplomatic alliance between the Ottomans and the Serbian despotate. It aimed to strengthen political ties between the two entities and secure peace. Kuma Hatun's role as the mother of Sultan Mehmed, who would later become known as Mehmed the Conqueror, is of great historical significance. This information highlights the importance of Huma Hatun in the context of Ottoman history, as she was the mother of one of the most renowned sultans in the empire's history, known for his conquest of Constantinople in 1453. Sultan Murat had several sons, and one of his most famous heirs was his son Mehmed, who would later become known as Mehmed the Conqueror. Mehmed succeeded his father as sultan, and is renowned for his conquest of Constantinople in 1453 a pivotal moment in history. Treaty of Adirne in 1444, during his brief abdication, a significant event known as the Treaty of Adirne was signed. This treaty marked a temporary peace between the Ottoman Empire and various European powers, including Hungary and Venice, which sought to contain Ottoman expansion. In historical terms, Murat II's reign is often seen as a period of territorial expansion and consolidation of Ottoman power. His military successes contributed to the empire's growth and set the stage for further conquests under his successors. Additionally, the Treaty of Adirne reflected the complex diplomatic relations between the Ottomans and European states during this era. Ultimately, his reign was a crucial chapter in the Ottoman Empire's history, laying the groundwork for its later dominance in the region.